Hello and welcome to Make and Drink. My name is Derek and today we're gonna to make three fall cocktails that are perfect for this cooler weather and perfect for Thanksgiving. So we're gonna have three cocktails that you can enjoy with your friends and family or enjoy to survive the time you're forced to spend with friends and family. So whatever it is, these are three great cocktails. They're good during the fall, they're good year round, and they're especially uh, good recipes because they don't involve tedious prep. Also, there are no pumpkin purees and pumpkin martinis and mold wines, and pumpkin spices here. Those are not good. So we're gonna do some, um, some basic fall flavors that complement the things that you're gonna find on your table for this Thanksgiving. Just try to think about making drinks that would taste good if you were eating pumpkin pie or eating apple pie, but not trying to have that same exact flavor profile into a martini glass. It generally doesn't work generally a waste of time, and um, those are pretty shitty most of the time. I don't know why there's a thing called a pumpkin martini. Ugh. If I was smarter, I would have made that video. The first one we're gonna do, you might think is a cop-out, but it's a gin and tonic. And I think a gin and tonic is a great drink to start with, a great drink to day drink on Thanksgiving day with your family, and for us to get by we're gonna need to get loaded. And I'm gonna help you accomplish that right now. All right, for, so for the first one, I'm, I'm calling this one a, a fall gin and tonic. Uh, we're just doing my basic gin and tonic recipe and we're gonna put in some, um, some cool garnishes, you know, cool, they're cool. And I'm gonna share with you my favorite tonic mix. So one of the ingredients that you might have a hard time finding um, is my favorite tonic syrup from Jack Rudy. Uh, I first heard about this about 10 to 15 years ago. Uh, Alton Brown had a podcast. He had the creator of this on his show. I tried it then. It's completely changed the way I think about gin and tonics. If you don't love gin and tonics, you might change your mind once you have a gin and tonic with Jack Rudy. But there are a couple other tonic syrups you might be able to find. Uh, this one's pretty, pretty common. Uh, Tomer's Tonic. It's made in the East Coast. You can order it directly through them, which I did. And then this one, which I haven't tried yet, which is Bitter Milk Cocktail Mixer Charred Grapefruit Tonic. I haven't tried this one yet, but this was picked up at a local Totem Wine. All right, there's nothing better than a big gin and tonic in a giant wine glass. Start with half an ounce of tonic syrup. Next up, we're gonna do two ounces of gin, and for this, I'm just gonna use Tanqueray, which is kind of my standard go-to everyday drinking gin. If you have another London Dry you prefer, go with that. I'm gonna add a couple of large ice cubes to this. Now, before I put the soda in, we're going to do uh, just a quick stir. Top with some soda. Just another quick little stir. Then we have a basic gin and tonic. This is a great everyday, weekday, weeknight, weekend, day drinking gin and tonic, but we want to elevate this a little bit. So it is the holiday season. I'm going to add in just maybe three. Cranberries floating around, giant orange peel. Look at that guy. Just kind of wrap that around in there. Then I'm gonna take a couple juniper berries. Some rosemary from the garden. And voila, you got yourself a nice fall gin and tonic. Look at that guy, beautiful. I like the, the look of the, the cranberry and the orange. There's, that kind of just triggers a Thanksgiving table. Um, I typically have the fake cranberry sauce, but when you have the real stuff, I'm pretty sure you put orange in there. Um, I actually don't know, but I think you put orange in there. So here you go. The Jack Rudy Tanqueray holiday 
gin and tonic. It's light, it's refreshing. Um, but I, I, just a warning, this is not what you're used to. It's not going to hit you over the head with quinine. It's not exceptionally bitter. It's definitely more balanced, and I think it makes a much better gin and tonic. So there you have it, the fall gin and tonic. All right, here's another awesome fall cocktail that you really want to try. It's an autumn daiquiri, and this is from Death & Co. in New York City. Death & Co. was founded by Dave Kaplan, and they have one of the best cocktail books you can find. I'd put it in the top five books if, if you're looking to get more into this. Um, just the way that they think about drinks is, um, is eye-opening. It's just a different, different take on how cocktails should be made. Uh, this drink was created by Joaquin Simo in 2008. All right, we're going to build this one in our shaker. We're going to start with one dash of Angostura bitters. Quarter of an ounce of cinnamon syrup. This is a Ceylon cinnamon syrup. I think that's how you say it. Quarter of an ounce of Demerara simple syrup. We're going to do a half an ounce of pineapple juice. This recipe specifically calls for two ounces of Mount Gay Eclipse. Mount Gay is one of the oldest rums. I believe that they are the oldest continually operated um, rum distillery, and they're located in Barbados. Two ounces. Add some ice to your tin. And we're going to shake. All right, now we're just gonna take a coop and strain it in. And one of the best parts about this one is it specifically calls for no garnish. It's an A plus cocktail. I love this drink because it's, it's not overwhelmingly full or Thanksgiving, you could drink this anytime. The cinnamon and the demerara with that rum, it has that like warming sensation. If you were to put this into a tiki mug with some nugget ice and a big sprig of mint, you would have a delicious tiki drink, year round tiki drink. And this is from Death & Co. It's an autumn daiquiri created in 2008 by Joaquin Simo. Okay, next up is a drink I'm calling the Bourbon Thanksgiving Sour. Um, this is a modification from a drink that I had in New York City over a decade ago at a restaurant called The Smith. So the idea here is not to create an apple pie in a glass, but let's just pick out some of those flavors to complement something like an apple pie with vanilla ice cream. This isn't gonna be a sweet drink. This is like a year round bourbon drink. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, and the only place I've ever seen this done was at the Smith in New York, is we're gonna make a vanilla salt to rim our glass. So I'm gonna just take a vanilla pod and split it in half. Um, I usually use a less sharp knife than this, but one thing you can do if you're ever pulling out seeds from a vanilla pod, I like to use the back of my knife and just get in there and scrape it all off. I put about a quarter of a cup of kosher salt in a deli container. That way I can shake it. Yeah, it's working. You're gonna be able to see like a lot of the uh, vanilla beans in there. This was a weird thing when, when I first had the drink this is based off of, I was there with my wife and we we had this drink, this bourbon drink, and we were drinking it, and we couldn't figure out what the flavor is on that rim. It eventually hit us, it's vanilla, and what's unusual is you're just not used to having vanilla in a savory um, application like salt. So 
a salted vanilla rim. Um, you can use this on other drinks. It, it does really well with bourbon. So first up, before we do anything, let's go ahead and line, uh, rim our glass here. So usually I take a, a spent lime um, and, and do this. I have a lemon, but this is a cool drink to make or, or anything with this rim because people won't know what it is. There you go. Let me bring that up to the camera. You'll see at the top there, you can see the little black specks of vanilla. All right, so I just put a big piece of clear ice in this. We're just gonna set that to the side because we're actually gonna shake up our drink uh, before we serve it. One ounce of vanilla simple syrup. One ounce of fresh lime. One ounce of Applejack. And two ounces of your favorite bourbon. I am using Buffalo Trace because it is one of my favorites. Just shake for 10 to 20 seconds. All right, so we got our vanilla salted glass with a large ice cube and our bourbon Thanksgiving sour. Just strain it in. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. No garnish. All right, there it is. Three fall cocktails for you to enjoy this holiday season. These are for you to enjoy with your friends and family, for you to survive times with your friends and family. And each one of these offers something a little different. You're gonna love all of these drinks. Try them, let me know what you think. Give us a like, give us a comment, subscribe if you want to. We'll be back for more videos soon. If you wanna check out more, just check out these videos right here because we already have a few in the bank. Till next time, I'm Derek with Make and Drink. See you in the next one. Good.